So, in the spirit of Halloween, I decided to dress up and do you a little special event. My top 10 favorite movies of the horror genre. Ah, while dressed up as a Sunday. <laughs> Anyways, crowd, RC Roll is in the building. We're going to give you a little Halloween special today. I got all my little makeup going on. I know it's not that great, but look at this. <laughs> Hopefully, if there's an Armageddon, the world does die by zombie apocalypse. Now, that ain't my number one movie, but let's get into it. I did make myself a little list here because, oh yeah. And I'm a Mexican, corona-loving zombie. <laughs> Starting off the top of my list. Actually, before that, I do want to give an honorable mention to none other than Exorcism of Emily Rose, The Conjuring, and I believe that's one of my favorite ones now. Not my favorite one, sorry. The ones that could have made it to a list, but because of other stuff that I like, personally, on my own taste, I had to leave them out. However, I had to leave a lot of the slasher films because I consider that its own genre, its own slasher film. Now, starting with number 10, Dawn of the Dead. The remake, though, not the original. I know the original is high up there, but just the Dawn, the remake, it's beautifully. Zack Snyder what's, brought his A game. I mean, I don't know what happened to him, but that movie was seriously badass. I loved it, every minute of it. And it's just a really great zombie movie. Even though they made it fast, everybody eats to his own. Number nine. <laughs> number, two, number nine. Number nine. Sinister. One of those most recent ones. I did love it. I Don't get me wrong. I actually liked it a lot. The story was cool. I mean, maybe the ending was kind of iffy and all that. But other than that, I think it was really good. Part two was good too. But just that this lands on my number nine. Because of all the recent stuff that's going on. Of course, we got number Ocho. The Conjuring Part 2. Now, The Conjuring Part 2, I liked it way better than Part 1. Yes, I know a lot of, they, they're both almost equally. I just did like 2 better. I had a better experience. I did go to the theater and watch it. And I loved it. It was it was good. It was good. Now number seven, same director, Insidious. Number one. It was creepy as hell. Very creepy. The tone, everything was just great about it. Insidious was really a top kick ass movie. And it just the creep factor was up there. Just like Conjuring 2. And again, those five movies that James Wan did, I think he did also part I think he stopped at part two. And the oh, Conjuring 1, 2, and then the Insidious. I don't know if he finished the last one. But if he did, those five movies, he's top-notch with horror. My number six is a guilty pleasure for me. I love it because I do love the zombie genre. And of course, it is the Night of the Living Dead. The remake, 1990. Tom Savani directed that. The best special actor. Special effects for actors. He's such a badass. And that movie was just kick-ass. They basically remade it. Switched it upside down. And showed you a kick-ass movie where the girl, the lead girl, was an annoying lead girl. And it was rare. It was when Ripley and um, Sarah Connor and all those were all the girls were taking over. And this chick really brought it. She brought her A game. Number four. Five, another remake. Yes, I know that's what three in the remakes in a row. Well, not in a row, but remakes. The Amityville Horror with Ryan Reynolds. I don't know why. Maybe because I was at such at a young age that I really loved it, and it was really I I loved it. I honestly did love it. It was a good movie. It was pretty kick ass. It was intense, and it was good. I liked it. Ryan Reynolds is when I knew that he was stepping out of the comedy genre. And he knocked it out of the ballpark with the horror genre. Number four. These next three are kind of cheating. and But I do love them in that order specifically. But for me, like I said, it is cheating. Number four, The Mist. 1990. 
Now, why is it cheating? Because it takes a like a little sci-fi element. It's still hard to me because there's some scare jumps and a lot of the feeling and all that. So that's why it's a number four, and that's why it's kind of cheating because of those reasons. But it's still a kick-ass movie to me. And I'm not having seen the show. I don't think I will see the show. I just I was interested because of Thomas Jane, and he really he acted well. The movie was great. A lot of people hate the ending. I thought it was a great twist a fucked up twist but nonetheless a great twist number three you know this one come on it's obvious it's halloween tonight and the movie is my number three halloween why is it not all the way up there because it's halloween time with halloween because this is my top 10 horror genre and it's cheating because again that's like a slasher movie he's not demonic he's nothing like that or another type of ghost he but he i had to give that special nod for this couldn't put him really up there because it's not as scary and fuck the remake number two the thing again cheating because there's a sci-fi element but nonetheless again scary as hell beautiful movie awesome remake yes it's a remake but that's probably the best remake of all time along the side with not of the living dead However, this is just badass. Kurt Russell's a motherfucking beast. And you, if you guys see, haven't seen it, check it out. Most of my movies, most of my list right here, all of them are, I want to say, either 9 or 10 out of 10 on my list. And number one, of course, the most scariest movie when I was 5 years old, when I was 6, when I was 7, when I was 8, when I was 9, and maybe when I was 10. And that, of course, is The Exorcist. What can I say about that movie? Other than it's a fucking badass horror movie and scares the shit out of little kids because it's just so intense. So intense. It's great and it's well made. I mean I think it I think it got an Oscar nomination. Come on. A horror movie getting an Oscar nomination? But mine. It's it scared me. I mean it scared my pants. I wouldn't sleep sometimes. That's how great it is in a movie when it does that to you. Damn. But other than that, people, like, comment, what's your top 10? What's your top 5? I don't know. This was my horror movie. I will bring you more videos of my top 10s. Slashers, action, comedy, top 10 Adam Sandler movies. Who knows, top 10 Sylvester Stallone movies. But all we know that this will be a new segment. It's called my top 10s. Just movies. Maybe TV shows, maybe sports, but definitely movies, movies, movies. Yeah, maybe my top 10 food. <laughs> but like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. But definitely do subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have a great Halloween. Get a lot of candy and get some cavities. Swat!